Second Edges chapter six, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. All right. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, Yahweh, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Call Halayim La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rekahakadash. Double honors and salutations to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that taught us this truth that rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect and to the one third men, women, and children of Israel. And to the Israelite foreigners who has the appearance of the heathens, but their lineage, their seed lines from their fathers goes back to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Shalom. This is the brother Habashai Ibadia, GMS Chicago. And uh want to title this video, The World Was Made for the Elect. All right. So-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. Whether you want to believe that, receive it, accept it, understand it. That's what it is. All right. Thus saith the Bible. Let's grab this real quick here. The book of Deuteronomy chapter six and seven. It reads, for thou art an holy people. This is talking to the Israelites, right? Uh, unto the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, the Lord, Yahweh, thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right. How do you know you're an Israelite? You, 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 uh, it's through the spirit first and foremost. All right. Romans eight and 16 and signs and a wonder, as it tells you in, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses, uh, what's that pretty much verses, uh, 14 through 68. Okay. And we are supposed to be the rulers of this earth. Let's grab this real quick. The book of Deuteronomy, um, chapter four, I believe. It says here, Deuteronomy 4 and 7, for what nation is there so great? Because, hey, the Lord gave us the law, statutes, and commandments through Moses, right? And we're supposed to rule the earth and, and, and um, abide by these uh, commandments. But we went off, all right? We we, we um, were disobedient against the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai. Hence the reason why he put these curses on us, uh, according to Deuteronomy 28. And that's why we are the piece of shit nation of all nations, man, the Israelites, okay, in this world ruled by Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, okay, he got his blessing in Genesis 27, okay, to rule, that, to have the fatness of the earth and rule it with his sword, which is his guns and his military, all right, the Lord did that as a punishment to us, he put the, the basis of man, which are Esau Edom, the, uh, 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 the so-called white man, uh, above everybody of the, uh, of the earth, okay, that's Daniel 4 and 17, OK, so they're ruling in wickedness. Hence, the reason why the world is the way it is ran in wickedness. This is Satan's kingdom. Satan means adversary of the scriptures. Right. He's an adversary of righteousness. OK, this is Satan's playground. All right. And Esau Edom, he is the uh, human counterparts of Satan. He does the bidding of Satan. All right. Hence, the reason he's the devil. The Bible speaks of. Right. Devil means deceiver. OK. So it says here, for what nation is there so great who have Yahweh so near unto him as the Lord Yahweh is our power is in all things that we call upon for him. So like him for and what nation is there so great that has statues and judgment so righteous as all this law, which I set before you this day. And it comes to mind every time at the end of the year here in Babylon, the great. They always come out with like uh, 10,000 more new laws that they got for the year. OK, Hey, I saw a meme the other day that said uh, a nation that has so many laws is full with corruption or corrupt nations uh, have so many laws, something of that nature. All right. And that's what this devil does. He does amendments. They steady breaking their own laws. The, the, the scriptures have 613 laws, man. And the Lord showed show has shown us. Through all these empires that been through the uh, years, man, none of them have ran their uh, uh, their empires with the law, statutes and commandments. OK, except King Solomon. And eventually that came to uh, 
uh, uh, uh, an end through idolatry, through Solomon's idolatry, man. Okay. Worshiping other gods. So it's established that the world, the Lord made the world for the Israelites. All right. We are his chosen people. We are the apple of his eye. So now let's get back to the featured uh, scripture that I started off with. Second address six and 54. Cause uh, you know, you have these, um, these devils and, and two thirds of our people, uh, the wickedness of our people, Zechariah 13 and eight tells you about the wick, uh, two thirds of our people that are going to be destroyed for following the ways of Babylon, Esau, Edom. And they'll tell you, Oh, Adam made everybody. That's no, like, you're not Adam. We come from Adam. All right. Uh, the Lord made, uh, Adam and, and we are all descendants of Adam. So pretty much everyone's the same. No. So that's why I brought this out. Second Edra six and 54. And after these Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all creatures, um, of him come we all. That's right, right? And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So the Lord chose a line, man. It started with Abel. Abel was uh slew by Cain, and then it continued through Seth, which were the sons of God, man. All right. And order was set from Seth all the way to the elect, man. All right, you can find that account in what's that? Luke 3, if I'm not mistaken. Right? The 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 lineage of the uh, sons of God. Okay. It reads here, uh, continuing. It says, this is my point. Verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, Yahweh, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Verse 56. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said they, that they are nothing but unto spittle. Tua. Right. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So all that we're all human. We're all, all our blood is red, you know, humanism and all that. No, man, the Lord got us chosen that he's going to uh, pick. Right. Continuing, it says here. And now, O Lord, Yahweh, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be, Lord, be lords over us and to devour us. Like I said about uh, Daniel 4 and 17, the Lord put a base man above us. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, self-proclaimed white man, right? It says, but we, thy people whom thou hast called the, thy firstborn, thy only begotten and thy fervent lover are given into their hands. For what? Disobedience, man. Okay. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure, man? All right. And that's what we're crying. We're crying for the wicked to be taken out of the way, man. And that's coming very soon. All right. This is why this devil is ramping up. Okay. Babylon, the leaders of Babylon, the great AKA America, they know that time is coming to an end. All right. Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. This is uh, this fits perfectly with Revelation 12 and 12. The devil knoweth that he had but a short time. He's coming with great wrath upon us, rough, roughly paraphrasing. All right. He's not going to give up that, that power seat so easy. OK, but through this grace period. All right. And mercy of Yahweh, the Lord is uh, uh, the Lord went up on the cross for us, for our sins, man. First, the elect, then the rest of Israel. OK. Like I said, two thirds of our people, they're going to be destroyed on this side. And then they're going to be born again into the kingdom with the law, statutes and commandments in their inward parts, which is the new covenant. All right. So. During this grace period, hey amen, the Lord, he really should have just destroyed this place with all the wickedness that you see going on in these days. Right. Let's just let the scripture speak. Um, this is Isaiah one and nine. And it reads. Except the Lord Yahweh of hosts have less left us slacking. Let me read again. Except the Lord Yahweh of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant. That's all it's about. The Lord is only coming to save his elect. That's Matthew chapter 24, verse 30 and 31. All right. And many more uh, uh, in the gospel. All right. The Lord is coming back to save his elect. That's all the Lord cares about on this side. OK. He's coming with the chariots which you people ignorantly call UFOs, all right? And he's going to uh, 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 lift us up with him in the clouds, man. 
Okay. We should have been as Sodom and we should have been likened to Gomorrah. Everybody know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. Utter destruction, right? Uh, so now let's grab real quick here. And this is going to be a uh, short Lord willing. This is the book of Matthew. Let's grab the book of Matthew chapter 24 that I had quoted in 22. It says here, this is Yahusha speaking. It says, um, Then for uh, I start at I start uh at twenty. It says here. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day, for then shall be great tribulation, okay, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. All right, so it's gonna be man is Jacob's trouble. But guess what? The Lord is going to protect his elect. Matter of fact, the elect is going to laugh in the, in destruction and famine, according to uh, Job 5 and 22. Right. It says here, except verse 22 and except those days shall should be shortened. There should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right. So. And what that's that's kind of what um, inspired this video, man. Just how the days are just flying. We're at the end of the year. I remember just uh, wondering, like, what Apostle Taha is going to coin this year. I swear that just felt like six months ago. All right. Here we are again. Uh, shit. Two weeks away from the uh, end of this year. Right. So the Lord, man, is, is doing things. Uh, uh, he's showing judgment to the wicked for our sakes, man. All right. The Lord is dealing, man, and, and it's beautiful. Right. And let's end it off with this, man, because, hey, the Lord really just. How I want to say. He's letting everything go. He's letting wickedness pile up. Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. Let's get this real quick. Is that a second address four? And um, yeah, check this out. Verse uh, second address four and twenty eight. It says, but as concerning the things wherefore thou ask me, I will tell thee for the evil is sown. Right. Because we like, man, Lord, when is this going to end? This is too much, man. The evil is just off the chain. Right. But the destruction thereof is not yet come. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down and this place is definitely upside down. Right. Um, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. All right. So the evil got to, you know, play itself out. These prophecies got to come come about. All right. Then after that, here we go. This is the good part. Watch this. Revelation one and seven. It's like you I'm dyslexic. <laughs> Revelation seven and one. It says here. And after these things, I this is still John the Revelator. Uh I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. All right. North, south, east and west, that the winds should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. All right. And those are the people. Those represent the people. Right. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth. And the sea saying hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And that's that the walk that's mentioned in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Ezekiel nine and four. OK, which is the uh, the, the, the Hebrew word is the Y, which means the mark. And that is the mark for exemption. All right. So the Lord is Lord willing. I'm of that number and the brothers that teach the truth with sincerity, charity, directly, correctly. Hey, we hey, Lord, we got that seal 
And when the Lord does that, you know, it's over with, man. That's when the Lord is going to unleash those, uh, the, the thermal nuclear weapons, the ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles. All right. Jacob's trouble. Uh, I'm not saying in the right order, but uh, uh, the, the implantation of the micro, the C-hip. All right. MOTB. All right. All mayhem and holy hell on the earth. A time like never before, like it said in Daniel 12 and 1. All right. Jacob's trouble and all that. OK. The Lord is going to protect them. Right. But once this they elect the seal, that's when all holy hell break loose. Right. And here's my point. And I heard the number of them which were sealed and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. And it goes through, man. All right. Tell you about the hundred and forty four thousand. The government. All right. Of Israel. All right. And uh, also the multitude. OK. Verse 14, it says, and I said unto him, sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, these are they which came out of great tribulation. OK. And that's a cut to that damn uh, what they call it. The rapture doctrine. All right. You're going to go through great uh, tribulation. All right. But the Lord is going to see us through. OK. And have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the lamb. All right. So the elect, the Israelites are the true white people, which means pure. Okay. There's no such thing as white people anyway. They are red Hebrew Edomites. All right. The first one uh, came, the, uh, he came out red like into a hairy garment. Genesis 25 and 25. Okay. So that's pretty much it, man. The, the world was made for the elect's sake, man. All right. And the only way the Lord got America, uh, a.k.a. Babylon, the great continuing is to seal up the elect. And once they're sealed, that's over. With. It's over with. The, it's, everything is about the elect. But hey, right now we're in a base position. The Lord put us in this base position because we went off. But guess what? We're getting ready to be put back on top. The Lord is going to give us our fame again and we're going to rule the earth for eternity. Matter of fact, let's let's get that, man. Let me grab, uh, cause after the Lord destroyed this place, this is what it is. Second Ezra six and seven. Then answered I and, and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? All right. And what's the end of the time? World War three, right? Nuclear bombs being let off and, and, and turning America into the lake of fire, along with the chariots, which you people ignorantly call UFOs. Right. And he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world. All right. And you go into that world. That word world is uh, eon in the Greek, which means an age, pretty much the end of uh, so-called white supremacy, the end of Edomite supremacy. OK, and what Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. All right. So it's just not going to be a big kaboom bang and the world is in and that's it. You know, normal humanity. No way. Let me grab this one, too. I ended off with this, too. It says Daniel 2 and 44. And it says, and in the days of the these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and the kingdom shall be net shall not be left to other people but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and what it shall stand for ever so with that i pray is edifying